hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing a small exercise for how to do the piping supports in rivet so go to the system first then you will be get a pipe from here and just take a pipe from one pipe and you will be get all the different type of pipe and i'm using standard pipe and i'm giving some um, diameter for 64 something like that and i just need to draw the pipe like this i'm just uh, simply drawing a pipe like that and uh, just uh, come up to here just do like this okay then uh, what we, what i am trying to do the, like uh, we just need to give some uh, supports for these pipes so how we can do that well, normally uh, we, we need to uh, load the families and everything so i'm using like a fabrication part for this and uh, we just need to go here in the fabrication part and you will be get a window like this and you just need to go to the settings and uh, uh, you just need to take the uh, all the uh, parts from here and if you uh, just remove this one and uh, we are going to uh, give some piping supports from here um, just uh, just go to piping uh, for example this this one okay so just added that one click okay then what we need to do we can get the all the fittings from here different different fittings and everything normally we will having one pipe over here so you can get that one with the specific levels uh, for example you can give like uh, 3000 okay so just uh, need to give that one and uh, we just need to go to the 3d view so uh, just you can get around i think we can give like uh, around 3000 a 3200 uh, so this will be come up uh, in the above ceilings and just need to uh, give some support for this right so normally we can give, give the supports and even even you can change the um, values and everything even even the length from here like 5000 or 4500 you can give it so automatically it will adjust so if you if you go to the um, support parts then you just select this one uh, the, select the supports and you can fix it the support easily from here like wherever you required you can just uh, uh, put the support like that if you go to the 3d view just you you can see the support is installed over there right but but in the system type this is system um, uh, system type but uh, this is fabrication type okay so uh, in the system type if you if you select this one but it is quite difficult to match with the um, uh, the supports like like easily you cannot you cannot place the support so in this case what you can do it you just need to uh, simply you can cope, uh, you can drag it and you can place it but it was it was not working right so for that case what you need to do um, uh, what you need to do just select the all the piping system like the tab it and select the piping system and go to the fabrication design to fabrication just select that one and finish it that then what do you need to do we the, now this is all, all already in the piping system uh, fabrication uh, system so we just need to select the uh, this pipes and you can see it was it was come up properly in the ceiling so then you just need to go to here in the select the hanger so now you can see or automatically the uh, this hanger is placed over there right so if you go to the 3d view you can see the piping hanger support is done over there right then then what do you need to do we just need to give some commands like if you can copy this one right multiple copy and you can give some specific distance around the 1500 automatically it will uh, it will uh, come up over there right otherwise you can copy it like this and uh, you can place it uh, place the base point uh, through the base point like that so another another option is like you can just take this one uh, this we can say like uh, we will we'll just expand this one a little bit we can expand it this thing i will just show you how to how it's work so just expand it just expand like that okay so we can clearly see our pipes are uh, running over here so i will i'll show you something like uh, otherwise i can do one thing like uh, just need to select this much part and go to 3d view so you can see the uh, pipes are running over here and uh, we need to just to give our uh, i just need to just changing this one 1000 3100 so a little bit higher than from the ceiling and then you just need to select this one the support okay for example this support is selected now what do we know we can give some array options right so just simply we don't want to copy it again and just uh, select this one and just uh, 
select the endpoint and just uh, select from here and just give up to here okay so automatically what will happen it was it was uh, uh, come up to here and how many numbers you required just type it so five numbers i required means automatically that will uh, the array of array will be come up over here you can see all the supports are uh, fixed in the uh, pipe right so you can see here all the supports are fixing in the uh, in the flow in the in the where wherever it's required so it will automatically fix to the supports right so same things like uh, if you want to uh, add over here so you can uh, just select this one and you can add the supports easily so for example sorry you can add the supports over here like wherever you required so automatically that you will see you can it it, it, will, it will be generating over here right so you can see here and uh, just place uh, one uh, supports over here so you can see that that was created over there like this and and in the array option you can give array options also like this array and select one point and you just need to uh, select up to here so automatically that will create and just give the number like uh, how much how many numbers you required like for example seven number i required so automatically what will happen it will be it will generating uh, simply so you can see here it was generated over here and even even the same process for here just to select this one and you just give a supports for this and support for this and uh, we need to give another supports over here just select this one and go to the 3d view and we can see clearly how it's work so i'm just changing this uh, um, just one to realistic um, otherwise shaded okay sorry uh, realistic i can give it over here I'll just give a realistic from here so it, it is look like that okay so the, in this part we need just need to give the um, um, piping supports so what we can do we just need to um, select the fab from the fabrication part you just select this one and select one supports over here so you can see that it was clearly you can see it was fixed or already created the supports and it is fixing to the uh, fixing to the surface right and then then you just need to select the supports from here select it and go to the array option and just take it one from one point to another point so then uh, give the number like uh, for example number we can say like uh, five or six that will create it like this see it was created perfectly and uh, this this things you can implement it in your um, in your uh, working method so just uh, uh, do that system like that and go to the system tab pipe select the pipe and different uh, um, size of the pipes you can take it for example 88 and just say like uh, another pipe you can uh, run through like that for example I'm, I'm just drawing like this so just to go to the view 3d view just adjust it how it's run so it was running like that and just need to uh, change the um, fabrication design type so just select all the things and the design fabrication just finish it that and so you choose from here all the um, sizes and everything you can select it from here right so just if you want to change the sizes you can change it like a uh, five was like whatever size you required you can change it that one so automatically it will adjust it okay so from here you can for example 16 so uh, automatically that will adjust it over here uh, for example 16 or new size if you want to add new size okay so that that is also good for you and uh, another thing like uh, if you selected this one uh, that was perfect and uh, uh, and we, we are just already done then you just need to finish it that and you can see this was very big pipe and uh, so this was this was not possible like uh, if you want to if, if you want to move it up but it is close to the uh, ceiling so i'm just to move it down i'm i'm just i'm not considering this uh, ceilings right now so i'm just uh, hiding the ceiling from here eh and the pipe is running like that okay big pipe is running like this and just uh, just show you how to how it's work and it's looking like a big pipe right so just to uh, just stretch up to here uh, this one we can just move it a little bit up to here okay then uh, trim this part 
joint okay so you can see it was uh, it was fixed like that but, di but different levels okay so for that we just need to um, do our uh, do our fabrications over here so just go to the hanger and select one so automatically what will happen it will be created over there right so just select the section box and fix it up to here and just see how it's work so as per the pipe size automatically what will happen this uh, the hanger support is created and to uh, just change this to shaded see you can clearly visible it was uh, created and then once you created that one just what we need to do we just need to give an array of uh, array options and we'll uh, clearly we can close to the pipe and uh, just give like a uh, array from here select it and array and uh, select the last point of this one and i'm selecting up to here and I'm just giving the number like a four or five and you can see how it's generating sorry select this one uh, array and select this point to this point give the numbers like a five numbers enter it so automatically what will happen it will be uh, it will created over there right so you can select uh, so, sorry you can select the supports you can see it was clearly um, you can see clearly visible it was created and once you done you can just copy this one from to here to here so that is not a matter and uh, uh, this one we can delete it and another supports you can give like this and wherever you require you can give simply like that also and even using array also you can uh, do the same the same same way just go to here and you can look uh, all the supports are created or not um, just uh, need to stretch it up to here you see it was clearly you can see all the supports are created right so that is the one method and simply you can uh, do the supports for the pipe using fabrication system and shaded or realistic see the piping systems how it's look selects in the visible view so all the all the uh, uh, the kind of uh, sub uh, piping uh, supports are uh, i think something happen over here because the different levels are there right so this will this will look at the copy paste it it's not working so on that time you just need to just uncheck these things okay just uh, delete this one and this is the different level so once we copy it paste it just careful uh, just need to do the same method over here and just select this one and go to array option and come to here and last point just select the last point and give the number like a five uh, just enter so automatically what will happen that will be creating over here see how it's work so this one we can delete it this one So just select this one just uh, select this these things and this one we, we don't want this one so just delete that one so it is a nice exercise so if you like my video please uh, please uh, watch my video and if you like my video please subscribe my channel so it is a very nice exercise so those who are working in a pumping piping field so they can try for this uh, this kind of exercise so as you can see clearly it was fixed to the um, slab top slab so nice exercise and some pipes are clashing but that is i'm not i don't uh, don't, don't look at that, that one so just need to select visible in view deleted that and even some other supports also here so select in entire project and deleted that yes now this i think this was uh, uh, like if you the, this video is helpful for you please subscribe my channel it's totally related to um mep b modeling rivet and autocad so thanks for watching thank you